All right, I'm about to hit you with a quick hitter episode. Quick hitter bonus episode. I feel like I'm going to keep making these, the titles of these things longer and longer as we go along. It's Tommy Mars. What's up, guys? I'm here with a quick one. I promise this is going to be a quick one. Let me give you some quick stuff. Let me give you some quick words. Okay. You guys mentioned that shooting the behind the scenes drum cover video would be something you'd be interested in watching. I think it would be cool to do. So I started shooting that today. The thing is, when it comes out in a couple weeks, I am wearing the same shirt. Reason is because Goonies never say die. Different glasses, though. So this is what I'm wearing. I'm in the middle of it, actually. And so I'm not going to tell you what the song is. I've already chosen it. I've already started shooting said video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That's coming in a couple weeks because I got I got a lot of work to do on it, though. Uh, maybe we'll see. I'm not actually, I'm not sure when it's going to come out, but okay. So why am I here today? The reason is, so Sonia on Twitter sends me a, a video, right? And it's like, let me, let me pull this thing up. So Sonia on Twitter sends me a tweet says, I found a cover for George Michael's faith. You did like eight years ago. What does it have to do with Harry Styles? Go listen to Anna, and then we'll talk. So she gets the she puts a link of the video. She credit she credits Fuzzy Chops because he's the person that recorded it, which coincidentally, which she says she got to meet last year in the UK. How freaking cool is that? It's like this big, huge, large world, but it's a small world too. You know, I got a kick out of that. So, Sonia Fuzzy Chops, thank you so much for having this video out there for all of us to see. So I watched it. I watched it, but I had my, I had my phone. It was on my phone. So it was, uh, I, 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 the audio wasn't great. I mean, I had it turned up as loud as it can go. So I heard it, but I didn't, I didn't get the full experience. So I've already heard it. I already really liked what I heard, what I heard. And it was, uh, I don't know. It's, it had that same vein of uh, medicine, and she, you know, she mentioned that uh, when we kind of conversed on Twitter a little bit. It, it was like a um, another song that is just like medicine, where he played it live and it's not recorded. So that's what I felt too. It was like that that kind of sort of thing. So I thought, you know, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a break from shooting this drum video, and I'm gonna watch this again with you all because. I really enjoyed it, but I didn't get to hear it loud, like through my monitors. So I kind of want to enjoy it a little bit more and relive it. So if you don't mind taking this jo- this little quick journey with me, I would appreciate it. Let's go. <laughs> this is Anna Barcelona, March 30th, 2018. You guys probably know this. the rim shot you know that she's doing for the sound there before the snares that was great Saying something, I just I, I have to watch and listen. You guys definitely aren't getting your money's worth. I, well, I mean, I know you guys would rather hear Harry play, but uh, <laughs> I do want to comment on something. So this will be like, oh my gosh, is this the third, fourth video that Peter Gabriel's come up? I have to bring it up again because that's that's the jazz I'm getting on this. I mentioned 
the record So by Peter Gabriel. That started all this with Sledgehammer on it. There is a great, great DVD. It's actually on Amazon Prime right now. I think it's called Classic Albums, Peter Gabriel So. If you have Prime, it is definitely worth the watch. The reason why I say it is because they have a lot of live footage of Peter back in the day. So this is back in the, the mid to late 80s. And he has this kind of sound. So he has um, he had a part in the show. So he had a lot of African dancers, and they came out, and they were like, um, uh, the rhythm of it was just so, so, like, danceable. And everybody just in the crowd would just get up and dance. And it was this kind of vibe, you know? And so there was... Um, it was all like in a line and Peter and his band and all the dancers, they'd be together on stage and everybody was dancing. And it was just one of those uh, moments when I watched the DVD, I was just like, God, that looks like so much fun. I wish I would have been like old enough to been there to, to, you know, be involved or uh, to be around something like that to do participate. And that's the vibe I just got as this is going on. So everybody's having a great time. You have dink, ding, 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 what, you know, the, the, the groove of the song and he's got his acoustic on He's got this flag around him, wrapped around him, and I bet you everybody's having a great time because when he paused right there and said, Anna, everybody sings it. That, that's what it reminded me of right here. What a great time. say thank you to somebody in the crowd right so that's still clear I'm almost getting it right I just like the way he sings, man. I'd be swaying like a mug in this crowd. For real. Like, oh, is Tommy here? Oh, yeah, that's him in the front, like. <laughs> That'd be me. Oh, nice. Start right back up. Yes. I love this footage because it's so close up on Harry and it's like not blurry at all. You know, sometimes it'll pixelate. It, it just looks so good, so crisp. Great job, buddy. I know a little something about this song, right? I was just going to try to do what he did, but I, I did because my voice would crack. That's awesome. So, uh, Sonia, thanks for sending that. And uh, thanks for a uh, little fuzz cam action. That's the channel. I'll put the link down there in the, uh, in the description down there. Uh, I'm pretty sure all of you guys have seen this because I'm so late to this party. I'm like, the party's been over and restarted again like five times, and I'm just rolling through. But I brought deviled eggs. All right, so I love that at the end she sent it to me. I like the little, well, of course, it piqued me because she started the tweet with like, hey, you did this uh, cover of this. So I kind of knew going in, okay, there must be something in there. And uh, yeah, that was... That was, I have to admit, when he was like, I guess it would be nice. And I was just like really excited. I was really excited. So thank you. Thank you so much for sending that. Thanks for watching this quick one with me. And, uh, I, and I, you know, Sonia, thanks for uh, going out there to find that. That video is so old. That is, 
it's so weird because I just, I don't know. It's, I don't really watch it that much anymore, but, uh, that video, well, I'll tell you something. If you guys want to hear about that song, I have a story behind that song and a story behind that video. If you want to hear about it, uh, let me know, man. Let me know, and I'll tell you in the next video because I don't want to take up the time on this. I, the only thing I want to say about it is the reason why it kind of went crazy for a little bit and the, the views got so many views was uh, George Michael actually tweeted it out to his uh, to his followers when it came out. And I was just like, geez, thanks, George. Like, I was... Uh, it was one of those numb moments, right? Because I'm a huge George Michael fan. I guess I just said that. I'm huge, huge. And um, there was a time in 1987, he was the biggest star on the planet. Many people forget that, but he was in that that rare era like uh, Michael Jackson was at the time, Madonna, Prince, George Michael. I mean, that's how big he was. And then, in fact, he sold the most records in 87, 88, that time frame, even more than Michael Jackson's bad. He actually sold more. That's how big George Michael was. So anyway, that was nice reliving that for a second. Thank you, guys. All right, I will be back in uh, probably a couple days with another video. I might drop a, I might sprinkle in a bonus episode before part three comes out. I don't know. I guess, do I count this as a bonus episode before part three? There's another question for you. Should I drop another bonus episode before part three of HS1? Let me know. All right, see ya.